Hey guys, this is AV. In this video, we will learn how to integrate Mapbox API for web application, either for using it as dynamic marker or using it for navigation. So here is the simple code that I prepared. I use PHP for dynamic data, but you can use any backend language. The JavaScript is the main language here for integrating Mapbox in web application. This is the simple HTML code and here are the two links for Mapbox, from which one is for CSS and another is for script. And these are some stylings provided to the body and maps. I am not going into details, but this instruction styling is used to manipulate this in front side. And this is used to set the styling for marker on the map. This is the simple tag with id map inside which we will display the map using mapbox. And this is div with instruction id in which details of our navigation will be there. And so this will only be used for navigation. Now inside this script, we will assign access token key to mapbox.gl and you will get this as you sign up in mapbox similar to this. Then we are assigning instructions div to the variable as we need to manipulate it for showing navigation details. Now here we are initializing map by providing default parameters to it as shown here. In container, it will contain the id of div tag inside which map must be displayed and inside style, we need to pass the hosted style id and you can find different styles from the mapbox documentation. In center, we need to provide the longitude and latitude so the map will load that place as its center and zoom is used to view that particular area of map on default and minimum zoom is used to set the limit of the zoom in map. Now we are calling the watch location function which will ask permission to the browser location and then if permission is granted, it will constantly watch the location changes of user and pass the coordinates of the user to the function called inside the parameter as shown here. Now we are using fly function to redirect the center position of the map to the current location of user and this will happen each time the location of the user is changing. Now this geojson is used to place pointer in the map and inside this picture array, you can pass number of objects to place dynamic markers on the map but here we are using only single object as we need to use it for navigation. EL variables is assigned a new div element and marker class styles that we give above is assigned to that div. This is used to place the markers on the map using the new div tag and geojson that we created. Please note that if you are using multiple markers then you need pass this method inside array for creating div tag for each different marker. Then we are using remove root to remove all previous roots if any on the map and this is the function which removes it. We are then assigning the new coordinates here where one is of the destination coordinates and other is for the user's current coordinates and passing to the get match function as parameters. This function fetches the complete root from current position to destination by passing the coordinates to this URL and this is the complete API for fetching route details from Mapbox. Also in this API, I use navigation for driving but there are all options for walking, cycling and many more. Here we are calculating the total distance and then we are just appending the route details to the instruction div tag that we created. And finally calling this add root function passing all root coordinates in its parameter and this function adds the layer of a line on the map as a root. And this is the default properties of styling for adding root lines on map. But there are many options in the documentation and I will provide the link in the description. So here is the outcome of our code as you can see and that was the integration of Mapbox in web application. I hope that you like this video and if you do, please don't forget to subscribe and also share this with all the developers. Thank you for your support. Take care. See ya.